And a real quick one along the lines of what we talked about the other day, leaning out, staying away from women at work because you just don't know what they're going to do, do you? Like I said, you might pass the same woman in the hallway every morning at about the same time, and suddenly she's thinking, oh my god, he's stalking me. He's he's harassing me. Just by, he's showing up every time at the... <laughs> and all that shit. Good fella did a story. Stay away, flirty FedEx driver who winked and chatted up. Legal secretary slapped with a restraining order. But he was cleared of stalking. Yes, people. She reported this to the police. Not FedEx. Not her manager. Not her boss. The police. The man's name is Andrew Malee. Told the court Emily Bradshaw was the first person you would see at the solicitor's office in Manchester. In other words, she was the secretary who would sign for packages, you know, and he would deliver stuff to her and other people in the neighborhood. So this uh, Mr. Malee, FedEx driver, was arrested at the wheel of his van and charged with stalking, but was later cleared. Despite the verdict, he was banned from contacting Miss Bradshaw and going within 200 meters of her workplace under the terms of a two-year restraining order. He could have faced five years in jail if convicted what what did he, what did he do to this poor victim did did he did he touch her inappropriately did he hang out his tackle for her to look at and hey baby come on and no 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 police were called in after she told her shocked family about Malie joking quote see you tonight if i'm not in the back of a fedex truck end quote i don't know what that means but um uh who knows right miss bradshaw claimed he made her feel uncomfortable during the flirtatious encounters which began in august of 2017 do you see how a female's mind can make shit up are you ready for this she claimed he would deliberately park his vehicle outside her workplace well yeah he was delivering packages <laughs> what the and he even turned up at Nichols solicitors with the wrong address, or the wrong parcel, rather. Then knelt down beside her at the desk while she googled the correct address. Now, I don't know what this is all about, people. I mean, usually, the address would be on the package. But, uh, so maybe there was some weirdness going on here. I don't know. She told the court, quote, I go down to the post office to post letters, but I have seen him at the same time. <laughs> he, he delivers packages. He probably even delivers stuff to the post office. <laughs> Good God. Quote, he was parked on the road where the doorway is to my office. At first, it was every two or three days, then every day. Quote, I was starting to worry. I was starting to feel like we weren't meeting out of coincidence. Um, it's the man's job to deliver packages to you and other people in your neighborhood. What, what would you expect him to do? Park a couple of blocks away so you don't get uncomfortable? I, what is this? What, what is this, people? For God's sake, he's doing his job. Now, if this guy started showing up at her house or some creepy shit like that, I could certainly understand. That would be stalking or harassment or some other. The guy's doing his job. He's doing his job. He's parking the van so he could... <laughs> Jesus. She added... That on one occasion, she had driven home via a different route after seeing him at traffic lights, and that when she arrived back, she got inside and felt stressed and collapsed. She saw the guy, and she felt stressed and collapsed. Oh my God. Miss Bradshaw said, quote, I was seeing him all the time. I felt like he was always there. It just made me feel uncomfortable. Are you sure? Or you just didn't like the guy? And since you didn't like him, you saw him more than you would even care about right so police were called in after she told her shocked family about this at manchester magistrate court malee was cleared of stalking following a trial in which he insisted he was merely the friendliest person ever miss bradshaw's mom corny says quote i at first we brushed it off but eventually it did start ringing alarm bells she has health problems so at her last work she had also mentioned someone had come in and been over friendly. Do we see a pattern here? Now you can see the pictures of her. I mean, she's not an unattractive lady, but good God, does she do a lot to make herself look attractive. Got the hair dye. You've got the sculpted eyebrows. You've got so much makeup. I, I, she probably doesn't even look the same without her makeup. She probably just looks like a different person. Seriously, look at the makeup on this lady. And the fake tan and the whole work. So was this guy flirting with her? Was he trying to set up a date? Who knows? But if he wasn't, and this guy was just doing his job and being friendly, delivering packages, 
This is the kind of shit that could be made up about you guys at work. Women can imagine a lot of things. In particular, if you don't necessarily appreciate any attention you're getting from a guy you're not attracted to. As I've said before, do not crap where you eat, gentlemen. I don't care how hot she is. I don't care how hot he is. Do not have a relationship at work. Because it likely will end. And when it ends is when all this kind of horseshit starts. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.